Hello again. Uh, just a short video today on searching for location in Map Info Pro. Quite often, this is one of those simple elements when you're first starting Map Info of how do I find the place on the map that I need to be to work, whether that's a postcode location, an address, or it's something out of your own data. Of course, you can do queries, but uh, there are some easy wins here to make life easier. Have a look. My name is John Ivers. I'm a director here at CDR Group in the Peak District. We're a precisely partner in the UK for mapping foe, selling, training, and supporting our users. So, in business terms, the postcode rules on finding our way around a map these days, and in GB and Northern Ireland, uh, Born and Survey GB, this is the free data set that you can get, contains 1.7 million postcodes. Those are updated twice a year. Great. Um, very accurate, coming from Born and Survey. And we can use Find on that. And when you set that up, uh, Control F, great shortcut, works in all sorts. Find on a web page, in a PDF, in a Word document, and the same in Map Info. But you select the data set that you want to search and find, and it, you need to index the column that you're searching on, in this case, postcode. OK, 1.7 million postcodes. That comes down to around about 15 properties per postcode. Obviously, that's an average, so some are more, some are less. And if you're looking at the spread of customers, say, then this level of detail not every postcode, but just the ones that you need, uh, is fine at this level of accuracy. Maybe you don't need to go any further. But you'll see in urban areas, that's pretty close to where you need to be. But as you get further out into rural areas, then that single point just might not be close enough. And indeed, if you go up to northern Scotland, this is in the Inverness postcode area, there's a postcode unit there that covers 440 square kilometres. So, yeah, a single point, I've just shown all the properties that are within that, it's not going to cut, and you need to get maybe to a particular location, up in the hills or down by the locks. There. So we can go for the full address. An Ordnance Survey has address-based products. It's four now, and I'm going to be using address-based core. And this came about a couple of years ago. Uh, my audience survey had a look at some of the feedback and saying they wanted a much simpler data set for this type of, I want to find an, an address. And what we've got in this data set is a single column showing you the full address. It's also there split down into building numbers, street, postal town, town, postcode as well, of course. But to have it in a single column is really useful. And again, we can do querying. Uh, fuzzy searching, though, when you've got a lot of data, is uh, it can take a while. So, recently came across Peter Miller's tool, the multi-search tool, and you'll find it in the Map Info Marketplace. Just click through there, you'll find some more details and a button to install it. And that's free. There's lots of tools in there that are free in the Marketplace, but you will need to register for an account. Just go to the Pro tab, and under services, set yourself up. Um, it also covers things like some geocoding and drive time isochrones. Uh, you get 2,000 credits per user per month to use the program. So you need to um, download this tool and it makes searching of multiple columns a little bit easier. Let's have a look at map info, and here we see uh, Lincolnshire. And the spread of data here, if I just go into Lincoln, uh, you see, as I zoom in below 10 kilometers, on come every address. So it's 34 million in GB. I'm not saying you will have access all the time. You don't need 34 million. You may be in a county level basis, but that's going to cover maybe 800 to thousands to a million records 
And that can take some time if you get it round the wrong way, which is what I did when I first picked up this tool. Uh, so with a bit of guidance from Peter, uh, we've got onto the multi-search tool to help us get around. Now I've got it auto-loaded now, and if you look at your tools menu, uh, if you right-click over here, you've got some configuration. So we'll need to configure which data set it is you want to search, just like you have in Find, um, not cups, uh, postcode open, but address base core. And you can have up to three columns to search on. I've got two. And this is working well for me, the way I've set it up with this data set. Just apply it to your own data. Uh, there's a column called postcode. Uh, and I've just put in the title of postcode and address, which is a single line address. That's a wide field. Tick the box. But there's two ways I'm going to operate this. Uh, we've got two options, either a like or an equals to. And the speed of recovery is quite different, particularly on 34 million. So I'm hoping that we're going to get around about a second uh, to find the postcode. But because I've got a second column, I'll also see the addresses that are related to it, and then I can just choose which one I want. And that, if we want to do a fuzzy search, if you don't have postcode, then the like is in there. It does take longer. But remember, both of these columns need to be indexed. Go to your table structure. Uh, now, this is a 25 gig data set, and the index files, having indexed these two columns, um, adds another 52 gigabytes. We'll just be wary of. Uh, disk space on that one. Okay, once you've configured, and there's a few more tick boxes here, um, we're ready to go. Okay, where is it? Where is that tool? You'll find it under the find wildcard search. There we go. And here's one I did earlier. So if I hit search, well, good. Uh, 59 records in zero seconds. Well, less than a second. So I can quickly nip over to 26 standard present. And there it is in the center of the, the screen. Highlighted. I'll just try another one. It's not case sensitive, but as the GB postcodes have a space in them, make sure you include that because it's this is an exact match. It's not a like, it's equals. So it needs to be in there. Hit the button. Great. Like it. 34 million. Bang. Here we are. Um, I'm zooming in at 250 meters. So that's the way I've set it up with postcode to search for and but showing amongst there out of the 47 records that make up that postcode. Here's all the addresses that then you choose from that. Uh, much quicker than trying to do a fuzzy search. Like I say, it takes about six minutes on a fuzzy one because whilst. Um, did I try 84 Derby Road? Do you know what? I also got 184 Derby Road and 284 Derby Road because it was a like. So it's not a fuzzy what's before and what's after. Hope you can set your data up similarly and get uh, make it life easy. Thanks for your time. Bye for now.